If you aren't already, don't forget to follow DMAN UNT 2014 on Twitter. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy DMAN, you already know. Bringing to you some Modern Warfare 3 kill confirmed. I know it's been a rip since I hollered at y'all, since I posted a video slash commentary. Well, actually, I posted that Dragon Ball Z, but you know, I wasn't talking to y'all, so it, that doesn't really count as a video to me. Even though I love posting Dragon Ball Z, don't get me wrong, but if I'm not talking to y'all, it doesn't really feel right, you know what I'm saying? You probably don't know what I'm saying, but I understand, so it's okay. And, you know, I hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving break. You know, I hope you enjoyed your friends and family. I hope you didn't get into any trouble or was a nuisance to anybody. <laughs> it's funny how I think about things sometimes because, you know, Thanksgiving shouldn't be, well, for most people, you know, I see people going around saying how much they're thankful for something on only on Thanksgiving, but I hope Thanksgiving isn't the only day of the year that people actually sl slow down and think about, you know, how grateful they are to have something or somebody in their life. You know, you should really do that all the time, honestly. But, um, before I get too sentimental, this game was actually from my live stream. If you don't know my live stream, it's basically the same as everything else. You know, you want to catch me, you know, I p post it on Twitter when I'm streaming. I post videos when I'm streaming. Just in case you don't know, so... I'll also leave a link down in the description if y'all want to go check it out. Because the videos are still there from the live stream. But this one, I think this one's from my live stream. You know, a nice little kill confirmed. I don't go super positive, but, you know, it's a good gameplay to me. Excuse me, but I was on Twitter the other day and I was seeing this conversation about gameplay versus commentary. And what do you want to do if you want to get big on YouTube? And so, of course, you know, I was just creeping, seeing what people were saying. I didn't jump in the conversation or whatever, because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like jumping in the conversation. I was just creeping. And for the most part, people were like, yo, you have to have beast gameplay to get big on YouTube. And, of course, I, I, feel, I still don't feel that that's true, because, I mean, look at El Presidor. Very entertaining. I think if you can hold the crowd with just your commentary, then... I mean, you'll be straight. It just, it's just a matter of time on this YouTube stuff, which is really the main problem with people. You know, they're not patient enough or they just don't wait around long enough for something to happen. But, you know, good gameplay is a good way to get started. That's, <laughs> to be honest, I think that's really what bigger commentators look at. Because, you know, you know, I don't know if I want to drop names. It doesn't matter. Like, just say... Now, I'll send a video to like Thunder or Market J. It can have a really good commentary, but the gameplay can be kind of eh. And I can get like a good vid D or a good vid comment out of, you know. You can just tell that they really didn't listen to the commentary, which kind of irritates me. But I remember when I said Thunder, a Modern Warfare 2 video, it's still there. Modern Warfare 2 video on Rust, and I just completely beast it. You know, it was like, yo, man, that gameplay is so nice, stuff like that. And so, I guess in a certain way, gameplay will get you noticed a little bit faster on YouTube. Unless you can hold, um, unless you can hold your audience attention. I'm not going to go and just blame Mark J and Thunder, you know, something like, well, not really blame them, but accuse them of just leaving BS comments or anything like that. It's, it's just simply preference. You no, know, if you're going to send a video to somebody more often than not, I think they're going to want, um, more gameplay rather than commentary because people get on YouTube to, well I'm gonna assume that people get on YouTube mainly to see something that they can't do like 100 kill games and stuff like that and I'm on YouTube right now just looking at videos trying to learn this game known as Modern Warfare 3 because I'm still getting smacked <laughs> no I think I just need to give it up or something like that no I have been playing WWE uh, WWE lately and I'm not sure if I want to post online games or nothing like that. Because, like I said, it's a fun game, but I just don't have an urge to post it. So I'm probably not going to post it. But, um, back to the gameplay versus commentary. Um, as, for, um, as for that topic, like I said, it's just preference. Like, I have people that I'll watch strictly for gameplay and people I'll watch just to see what they have to say. And this should have been a three-piece right here. I don't know what the deal was with that MP7, but... Well, actually, I do know it's a submachine gun. You know, that was kind of rangy, you know, silencer on the submachine gun. So, of course, that wasn't going to work out, but I should at least got one. 
But um, like I said, it's all preference. Just like Modern Warfare 3 versus Battlefield 3. Just like Droid versus iPhone. You know, it all depends. That's the answer for most arguments. Um, whatever you want to see, then that's what you look for. If I want to learn how to get better, I go for people with gameplay. If I want to be entertained, I go for people with commentary. So I want to know what y'all think. Because on gameplay versus commentary, what would y'all rather see? Because for most people on Twitter, it was strictly gameplay. So this commentary is over. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Shout out to J Nuff for this banging beat. And I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.